Tonight, we remember the Creel brothers. The two young boys were killed during last weekend storms. Fox 51's Mai Owens takes us inside today's funeral service to tell us how their family wants all of us to remember those brothers. Dylan was eight years old. Jace was three years old. They both died from a tree falling on top of this car with a brother sitting in the back seat. When I, I heard about it, my heart did sink um, as, as our family losing two precious children. Inside Caraway Funeral Home Chapel in Lufkin, friends and family sat together, side by side, wondering how. We're human, we're gonna ask why. Why did this happen? Why did it have to happen? And this side of eternity, we'll never know. Hoping these brothers are in a better place. Dylan had dreams of heaven that he told his parents about, but I can't wait to get to heaven because one, I'll be with Jesus, I get anything I want. <laughs> and two, I get to ride my four wheeler, jump in the clouds. Jace could always be found on a bicycle. Dylan playing baseball with a bat just like this one. This Sunday we'll celebrate Easter and they hunted eggs together. They they uh, played ball in the yard together. They both love baseball. But he most looked forward to spending time with his dad every morning doing their Bible study together. And as I hugged Edward, one father to another, I had no words to tell him. What can you tell someone? Jace could always be found on a bicycle and asking when the family could go see the car races. Dylan and Jace were the light in their family's life, bringing joy and laughter to everyone. They have encountered a parent's worst nightmare, and all I can do is think about my boys. They will be missed deeply, but the family takes comfort in knowing they are in God's care, walking hand in hand, forever together in a baby blue casket, in loving memory of Dylan Edward Creel and Jace William Creel. My Owens, Fox 51 News. After the ceremony, friends and family drove to the cemetery, but not before a special tribute to those boys. You can see bikers from Lufkin and Pollock all came down together to ride behind the hearse, making sure the brothers' love for bikes followed them forever.